Hey, what's up? This is Edo Speaks back again with another video. So I'm here um, with the Tommy Lorhan video of her quote unquote rant saying that men are trash. I'm here to react to it and give my take and chime in here and there on her certain remarks and want to get a full understanding of why she said her men are quote unquote trash. So here we go. I'm waiting for you guys to get here. So normally I do final thoughts and I do Instagram lives and I do rants about politics. Um, there's plenty to talk about in politics right now. Do it every day. It's a great time. But something as of recently has been on my mind. And I consider myself a teacher, a helper, um, someone who could possibly inspire people to be better. So anybody does getting educated or edified from you as an idiot. With that being said, this is a PSA for all the men out there and all the boys who think they're men, but they're actually boys. All right, so this is a clear shaming tactic from her trying to demean men and saying that they're little boys or ma emasculate them. This is typical female bullshit right here where a lot of females try to do that when they like to debase men on their manhood and saying that they're little boys. Clearly, by the beginning of this uh, interview, well, not interview, but more of a rant, is she going to trash men and besmirch them and give her take on why men are trash, but I digress. This is going to be the summer of canceling boys. Now, from my own personal experience... You can't cancel a whole gender. No matter how much you hate men or quote-unquote hate boys, you need men in this world and the experiences of all of my friends which range in age from 24 to 36 we've all got issues now she's basically talking about in from that uh, age range she's basically saying all millennials around her age range i will also say this all of my friends are attractive all of my friends are successful all of my friends have something going on almost every single one of them have an issue with men what does that say about you and all your friends? Like, seriously. And you have to start looking at that and thinking, if an age range of that many people, including myself, living really all over the country and being blonde, brunette, short hair, long hair, I mean, tan, super white, super I mean, these women range in every body type and every everything. They're all successful, they're all intelligent, they're all good people. But if all- That's your opinion. All of these women, including myself, are having issues, then I have to think, it might not be us. It might be you. It might- As an active intraday trader, you know one good day is not enough. You need consistent pro- It might be men. It might be men. Oh really, it, really, it might be men. So if you guys, quote unquote are having multiple troubles with men and instead of doing some self reflection it has to be the men's fault right now i've often talked about the pussification of america and how men are no longer men i talked to my mom about this a lot and she said the quote unquote reason for pussification of men is because of feminism and liberal ideology that type of thinking and mindset permeating throughout the United States is what's pussifying men and what's making them soft and weak or how they quote unquote say are soy boys. But women like you, since you have an added benefit in that type of society, you're going to go along with it. But then years later, when you're in this particular right now, you're going to say, why are men are soft? Where are the good men at? Yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. As well, maybe it's just the guys in Texas. Maybe it's just the guys in Los Angeles. Maybe it's just the guys, just the guys. Um, it is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not, they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. And <laughs> they're trash all over this country. You would know. So how, how would you know if all those men in the society are trash unless you dealt with those men sexually? So that means you were all over this, the States in this country dealing with those type of men. So what does that really say about you overall? In the age range of about 20 to I think about 55, maybe even 60. A lot of men are trash. <laughs> and how the fuck would you even know that? You would have to date multiple men from a wide range of 
states and from different age range from 20 to 60 in order to have that type of point of view. That's like me saying all women are whores, but I mean, some men would honestly say that, but I know that's not physically true. Not every woman is a whore, but this is a, just a, a typical rat from this woman. So, A lot of men don't know how to treat women. A lot of men don't know how to really, quite frankly, pull their heads out of the sand and pit. The reason men do not, don't treat women right is because a lot of females has been ungrateful as in terms of dating and mating culture. We live in a time and age where we're in a social media age where everything's about casual sex. That's it. All this taking women on dates, doing all this bullshit doesn't mean it's useless. You could literally ask a female out to Netflix and chill and get an offer from her and then take her out to eat maybe later on after that. But doing all this mating, dating, courting, taking her to a five star restaurant just for her to not be interested in you and then go back to another dude who didn't have to do all that bullshit and then getting on with him is a waste of time. So that's why men don't quote unquote not to treat women. Attention. So I am going to help you. And these are some of the things that I've experienced. And these are some of the things my friends have experienced. I, again, I'm just going to. It's funny how she's personalizing everything and is saying it's all men. I'll lay a few things out. They haven't all happened to me. Some of them have just happened to my friends. A lot of them have happened to me. So the first thing, and I've made notes, by the way, I've made notes. This is how. I'm oh, goody. You made notes. I can't wait to hear them. Invested I am in this because I've been thinking about this for about two weeks solid now. First question for men. If you like a girl, if you're even somewhat interested in a girl, you need to ask yourself this question. Are you single? No, I don't mean are you kind of single, seeing five people, dating somebody, still kind of in a relationship, kind of broken up. Kind of it's complicated. Kind of on again, off again, kind of married, kind of divorced. Are you actually single, single? That means single. You How about this? I'm single-ish. Is that better for you? You have nobody. You have no complications. You have no attachments. You are actually single. That is the first question, believe it or not, that needs to be asked. And ladies, you should... See, when it comes to ditzy, dumb women like her, I could tell the type of men she's into. She's into high-value, high-earning type men. And those type of men are always going to have women flocking to them, trying to get at them. So, yeah, they could be single by title, but they're going to always be entertaining other type of women. So it's going to be difficult for ditzy women like her to try to nab those type of men and lock them down to a long-term relationship. So again, this is just another idiotic take, but continue. Should be asking it because in 2020, it's not a given anymore that a guy that's actively pursuing you is actually single. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Um, the second thing that I think is very important, that men don't seem to understand. There are very few women out there, and I'm speaking from personal experience as well as from all of my friends and all the women, quite frankly, that I talk to. There is not a woman out there that wants to be your pen pal. She doesn't want to get your texts, your good morning texts, your good night texts, your random through the day texts, if they don't follow up with a plan to actually, here's the kicker, in person, hang out now i know what you're i guarantee you we as men don't want to have a pen pal either most of most of the time we want to go on these social media uh dating sites and just smash but we have to pay the, the dog and pony show with you in order to entertain this bullshit and now i agree having a pen pal is a waste of time texting do all that bullshit i would suggest as soon as you and a female are are linking up on these social media dating sites get her number plan uh, don't plan something like right away, but you know talk for a little bit then after that Message her out of nowhere Be like yo, let's go hang out. Don't plan something females hate that shit. That's what it turned They're gonna flake They're gonna back out for whatever other reason 99% of the times these females are gonna flake for no reason and you have to be okay with that Now nah, just try to see you could spring right out on the moment and just Yo, let's hang out tonight. Let's boom, boom. But do not listen to this ditzy woman and plan something. It's, it's a waste of time.
you're saying, oh, it's COVID, people can't hang out in person. This has not been a four month problem. This has been a five year problem that I've experienced with men and my friends have experienced with men. Again, that's self reflection that has to do with you and your attitude and your personality. It can't be all men, dumbass. Men. Women do not want a pen pal. We don't want a texting pal. We quite frankly don't care if you text us all day or if you don't text us at all. If you're not gonna make a plan to actually see us in person, not interested. And if you do have a woman out there that just wants to be your pen pal, it's probably because she has a boyfriend or a husband or a wife or whatever. We don't want a pen pal. With that Typical liberal ideology, she has a boyfriend, a husband, or a girlfriend. <laughs> That also leads me to my second point. This is gonna be backwards for you guys. Make plans. Make a plan. No. No. Not assume that you can text somebody randomly in the middle of the day, what are you doing? Or text them at midnight or 1 a.m. That's exactly what you need to do. I guarantee you, as men, that's exactly what you need to do. Be spontaneous, be random. Do not move on her time, move on your time. You wanna hang out Saturday night? Spring it on her. You trying to hang out that Sunday night? Spring it on her. Be spontaneous, be random. Do not be predictable, do not be boring. Females hate that shit, I guarantee it. If you make a plan, especially with a female like this, 90% chance she flakes, guarantee. 2 a.m. or even just within hours of when you actually want to see them and think that they're going to be available. I personally, once I get home and I take my makeup off and I'm watching TV, I'm- I mean, you take your mask off. Because that most of the females out here, they're wearing makeup and mask. No longer interested. So if you didn't make a plan earlier in the day or better yet, a day or two or three in advance, I'm not interested. I don't want to hang out anymore because that ship has sailed. Make a plan. I, I have a better plan. How about Netflix and chill? That's a better plan. That way you don't have to put on your mask. I want to hang out with you at this time. It doesn't have to even be a date. I want to see you at this time. Are you free at this time? Or when are you free? I will accommodate my schedule to see you. When are you free? I want to see you. I know it's not rocket science, but men of 2020, it seems like it's pretty difficult for you to figure out. And I'm not a feminist, so please don't take this as a feminist rant. I love men. Yes, you are a feminist. It's just you're trying to be covert about it, obviously. For you to say all men are trash, there has to be some type of ideology with feminism that you agree with in terms of that. So, yes, you are a feminist. I think men are great. I think men have failed themselves, and they failed us, and I'm... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just trying to help you out because I think there are a lot of really great guys out there who need. Any man that needs help from you is a damn idiot and a fool. Need a little help. And I don't think that there are a lot of women that are stepping up and saying these things and not. FaceTime me, I swear to God. Quite frankly, I don't think that there are a lot of women that aren't raging feminists that don't look like Lena Dunham that are saying these things to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and say them because they need to be said. I am really so sick of my friends having to deal with trash men. I am tired of dealing with trash men. Again, if all the men that you're dealing with are trash, what does that say about you and your friends? It's called self-reflection. Look in the mirror and see, damn, why am I, why am I meeting all these trash men? Is, is, does that mean I'm trash? Maybe, maybe not. So I'm going to help you out. Make plans. So let's go through these lists again because I know y'all love a list. Number one, are you single? Number two, make a plan. Nobody wants a pen pal. We want to actually see you. If not, don't text us because it's a waste of our time and we don't want to see it on our phones. Got it? All right. Next thing. Value, value. Okay? Value, value. Take that in. Just repeat it to yourself until it makes sense. Okay. If you want to date a girl that has nothing going on, then that's fine. But please do not mix in people like me and my friends who have something going on with your other girls that have nothing going on. Do exactly the opposite of what she's saying. Now, I do agree that you do have to have value as a man. All men have to have some type of value with themselves. 
But this ditzy woman right here, she expects the top of the line men. I'm talking about like a ten, nine, ten, and she's not even all that. So the type of value she's talking about is unrealistic. And that's what a lot of females have in terms of wanting to men a have value. They basically want a particular lifestyle and they think they could do that by dating a certain type of man. Even though she does have her own money, money but still... She wants a top of the line man that's like a nine out of nine, eight, nine or ten, and to live a certain lifestyle and move a certain way because she's been around those type of men. But I'm pretty sure once those type of men are around her, she's annoying, she's bitchy, she has an attitude, she has a fucked up disposition, personality, and they're probably thinking to themselves like, "Damn, this dumb is annoying." So let me just smash her, or if she's not putting out, then I'm out. Simple shit. And by nothing going on, I mean this. I don't, there is no job that is unimportant. There is no job that's not valuable or that's not worthy. It is. But if you want to mix in people like me and people like my friends who are go getters, who work really hard, who make their own money, who are talented, skilled, ambitious, please don't mix us in with the Tatianas. We don't want to be there. If that's what you want, find them. Please, for the love of God, do not mix us in with them because we don't want to be there. And quite frankly, we take it as an insult if we find out that you are also talking to five Tatianas who have nothing going on. People like me and my friends are going to be insulted by that. And there's almost really no coming back from it. So if you want that kind of a girl, the kind of girl who's just kind of happy going through the motions of life, not really super ambitious, hasn't really found herself yet, doesn't really have a whole lot going on other than she's pretty, please just go after them. And please do not mix us in. We don't want to be there. I promise you. So value, value. There's a lot of women out there that I know that are my good friends who have amazing jobs, who work really hard, but who can't seem to find a decent guy, even if they go up in age 5 to 10 to 15 years. You can say the same thing for men. There's a lot of men who have good paying jobs, have their head on straight, but they're just not able to find the right woman. In this time of generation that we live in, everything is getting more fucked up and worse every year. Uh, because of the advent of social media, people are being more antisocial, marriage rates are dropping, etc. So the dating market is messed up, is broken. So both sexes are having trouble finding a mate, especially a long-term mate. And they're just having trouble staying in long-term relationships, let alone getting married. So again, that's just not a women problem. That's just a relationship, uh, societal, cultural problem. Years because those guys all want to be with 21 year olds who have nothing going on. It's very unfortunate. I don't think it's going to be fulfilling, but I would say to the men out there, try to maybe find a woman that you can talk to, communicate with, might actually have her shit together. Do not ever, as a man, take relationship advice from a female. Ever. They will lead you down the wrong path and trick you. I can this to a fisherman and a fish. As a man, you never ask a fish how to catch itself. They will lie to you and not tell you the truth. What you will need to do, you will need to ask a fisherman who is a man, akin to the man, because he will teach you how to fish from experience. Fish don't catch itself. They get caught might actually be ambitious and have something going on or want to have something going on. I don't care what she does. She doesn't have to be on TV. She doesn't have to be a PhD. She doesn't have to be a television producer. She doesn't have to own her own company, but be ambitious and have something going on. Those women out there are going to be a lot more fulfilling to you. You're actually going to enjoy your time. And if you actually might want a sustainable and healthy and stable relationship, that's probably the kind of girl you're going to need to find. Not the Tatianas who just want to look cute and post Instagram stories. Now, I love a good Instagram story. Y'all know I do. I love a good boomerang. I love a good whatever. But if that's all you do, men, if that's all she does, probably Houston, we have a problem. I'm just going to let you in on a little tip. The next thing on my list is this, consistency. It really does not help me or my friends or any woman in general if you are really cool and you're really interested when you first start talking to them and then give it three, four, five days and all of a sudden you're not consistent anymore. 
you don't make plans, you don't really care, you kind of fade in and out, you're talking to five other thoughts. You Basically, she's trying to say, in the beginning, you were entertaining me, but now, a couple of days now, you're not entertaining me anymore. I need consistency in you entertaining me. I need consistency in you for dancing for me, making me laugh, making me talk, making me engage. You must entertain me. To be honest, consistency is important important now if you want to be inconsistent and you want to ghost and you want to fall off the radar that's fine but i'm going to give you a pro tip people like me and people like my friends we aren't going to really give a shit after that we don't yes you do because otherwise you will not be making this video right now for the whole world to see how much of a jackass you are so as regards to that yes do as men show inconsistency do not give a hundred percent of your whole effort to one female if you're talk, especially if you're talking to multiple females, do not give your whole effort to them because I guarantee it, a lot of them are going to play games, they're going to flake, they're going to do whatever. So it's just best to have multiple females in your role so that way you could talk to multiple of them and see which one is choosing. That way you could get which one, right, in terms of casual sex, relationship, etc. But do not give 100% consistency to one female. I guarantee it, they will take that for granted. I don't really care. The F's have been given and we're kind of done. I'll tell you this from personal experience. Once I'm turned off, I am turned off and I don't care anymore. Because there at one point, I probably did care. At one point, my friends, they probably did care. They probably did like you because you expressed interest and maybe you were cool and maybe you were kind of fun to hang out with. But if you're not consistent and you fall off the radar, I give you maybe one to two chances to fix that because I'm a very direct communicator. Women, this is important. I will communicate to you. You just said you don't give a fuck, but then afterwards you, you go on to say, oh, I'm going to give you one to two chances. So if that depends on if they're showing consistency or you're just saying that, that depends on the type of guy that you're attracted to at the moment. You, if your communication isn't great, I will let you know that. I will let you know that more effort is needed. But if you don't heed that warning and I have to warn you twice, I'm done at that point because I don't really care anymore. Now I'm done. Now I don't care. And I know my friends who are watching this are thinking and saying the same thing because we have these conversations on an almost daily basis. Once you turn us off, we don't care anymore. So let that be a warning to you. You're probably not gonna circle back. They always come back. They always come back. But when you're ready to come back, I probably don't care anymore. So if you wanna switch up, stay there. Pro tip. My last thing on my list is also very important. Don't be, excuse my language, don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Likewise, uh, you, should take your, you should take that advice, that last, especially that last step, you should, yeah, you should take that advice, don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. If you have then failed and you lost a woman of value like myself or my friends, and then we don't really care anymore, don't be a bitch. Don't be butt hurt. You did it to yourself, okay? And it's no longer my problem. Now it's become a personal problem of yours. So don't be a bitch. And by the way, if I'm no longer interested because your effort is shitty, that's not me being a bitch. That's not me being difficult. That's me having a standard in which I expect from people. I do have high standards and high expectations. My no, you have unrealistic high standards and expectations in regards to the type of men that you're around, which is understandable, but still is called having self-reflection and understanding that I'm here and certain men are right there. And if they want to, they don't want to deal with me, then I have to understand that and look for men that's particularly in my lane. So again, with the, when it comes to those men that you said are quote unquote bitches, bro, miss me with that bullshit. This is a typical uh, white girl attitude where I'm entitled to the best of men because I make a certain amount of money or I look pretty. You're not guaranteed shit in this world. You have to go out and get it. So if the type of men that you're attracted don't want you or see you as pump and dump and they just see you as casual sex, there's a reason for that. So I already explained it all. Which she probably has a fucked up different personality. I could tell being around her is really, really insufferable and annoying. So I can't imagine, like, because I just see her through, like, right here. And I could tell she's a bit massive bitch in real life. So... My friends have high standards and high expectations. Do you want to know why? We've worked for those, okay? We work hard. We're successful. We take care of ourselves. We try to look cute. We 
or have a, a desire to be something more each day. Okay, that's why we have the ability to be somewhat what you call difficult. It's not difficult. We just have a baseline standard. If a bitch like this is being difficult, I don't want her straight up. And yes, I'm going to call her a bitch because obviously you being difficult, quote unquote, on purpose to try to show high value is not the way. When you go with a quote unquote high value man, it's best to be complimentary as possible and be pleasant to be around. Once you start being a bitch like her, it's not it's in the discussion. You either pump and dump or you're just not gonna deal with you at all. And if you can't meet that standard, that's okay. A lot of men cannot. But if you are one of those men out there, and I, I have them all over my DMs, sometimes I check them, and you guys are like, what would it take to be with someone like you? What would it take to be with your friends? What are girls like you, what are they looking for? I laid them out for you very simply there. In order to have a shot with a girl like me or girls like my friends, girls that are worth a damn, you don't really have to be Brad Pitt. You don't have to be famous. You don't even really have to make a lot of money or have a really fantastic job. You just have to. That's what she's saying now, but I'm pretty sure the men that she interacts with have most likely two of the three that she's looking for and the type of men that she wants to engage with. Be determined, you have to be in some way successful in that you want to attain some certain kind of success for yourself. You're driven, you have goals, you can handle a woman with standards. That's basically what she's trying to say is, can you deal with my bullshit and elevate yourself as a man? That's basically what she's saying. It's not going to turn you off and you're going to put in the effort to be with somebody like myself or my friends. We deserve that. And we will not come again. You don't deserve shit in this world. You have to go out and get it. Now, sometimes if the most high blesses you and they come into your life. Okay. But as regards to deserve, no, you don't deserve shit in this world. That's your entitled white girl attitude. So as regards to that, fuck all that. You don't deserve nothing. If men see you as pump and dump, they will pump and dump you. If they don't want to deal with you, they're not going to deal with you. If some men wants to wife you up and take on be in a relationship with you so be it but until then deserve no no man or woman deserve anything you have to go out and get it compromise our standards i tell you this it will be a cold day in hell when i chase a man oh it's getting colder by the year i guarantee you that it's getting colder by the year a lot of men a lot of men are not dealing with a lot of females bullshit because of the laws and how societies works in this gynocratic culture that we live in where liberalism is permeating throughout not even the united states but throughout the world and feminism is just making females more toxic by the year so it's getting colder and colder where i see a lot of females are trying to highlight at dudes now and they're choosing now so trust me it's getting colder and i know that's the same thing for my friends as well and if my friends are listening and they're thinking about chasing a man please for the love of god do not because there is not not one single man on planet Earth, okay, that is worth making any woman feel like she is not good enough. I don't care how hot a girl is, how smart, how successful, how rich. We have all dealt with men who treat us like we are not good enough. And there's a reason for that because maybe in their minds you are not good enough. Just a thought. No, the problem is we are too enough and you can't handle it. So those are my checklists. And those are my thoughts on the video. As it goes to this dizzy bitch, again, you don't deserve anything in this life as regards to men, as the society and the dating mating culture in this society is set to default uh, casual sex is going to mess up the dating market where marriage is obsolete where men are just going to think about it and like, ah, do I really want to get married to her? Can I see myself long term with her and have kids with her? And a lot of men are deciding to opt out of that. So, I mean, they're getting casual sex without having to deal with marriage or shit, even a relationship. So why even deal with it? Especially if you have to deal with women like her? Hell no. But again, those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter. This is Ido out. Peace.